If you have inserted the caption for your equations above or below the equation itself, then you can easily add a cross reference to it. To do so, go to the references menu, click on cross reference, select the reference type as equation and choose the equation to which you want to add the cross reference. The caption that you added is inserted at the specified location. Now you can control click this entry at any time to navigate directly to the equation. However, if the equation number is created on the same line as the equation, then you cannot directly cross reference this number because Word is going to treat the full equation as a caption. So if you try to insert a cross reference to an equation, Word is going to insert the equation along with the caption. To prevent this, you will need to create a bookmark with only the equation number and then add a cross reference to that bookmark. So to summarize, you need to create a bookmark that contains only the equation number and then you need to create a cross reference to that bookmark. To create a bookmark with the equation number, select the equation number, then on the insert menu, click bookmark, then enter a name for the bookmark and click add. Next, to insert a cross reference to this bookmark, click the location where you want to insert the cross reference. Then on references, click cross reference and in the reference type, select bookmarks and then choose the bookmark that you had added. It is a good idea to select the insert as hyperlink box checkbox. This ensures that you can control click on this cross reference and directly navigate to the reference equation. Now, what happens if you add or delete some equations? You will want your cross references to update automatically. To do this, select the entire document by typing Ctrl A and then press F9 on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can right click the numbers in your equation and choose update field. That's all you need to do about adding cross references to your equations.